History hacks, unexpected twists and turns that reshape the past. Humorous turns. The pigeon who started a war, how a feathered spy sparked international conflict. Imagine a world before drones, satellites, and intricate spy networks. A world where the fate of nations could hinge on the swift wings and keen vision of a seemingly ordinary pigeon. This isn't some fantastical fable, but a true story etched in the annals of history, a tale where a humble bird named Cher Ami, French for dear friend, unwittingly became the spark that ignited a fiery international conflict. Cher Ami wasn't your average park pigeon, strutting around for crumbs. He was a valiant member of the American Pigeon Corps, trained to carry vital messages during World War I, stationed near Verdun, France, the most brutal battle the world had ever seen, Cher Ami found himself amidst a maelstrom of mud, blood, and deafening artillery fire. The Lost Battalion, an American unit surrounded by German forces, desperately needed reinforcements. But with communication lines severed, hope dwindled with each passing hour. Enter Cher Ami, entrusted with a message tied to his leg, scrawled in pencil on a scrap of silk, we are surrounded by the enemy. Our situation is very critical. Can't hold out much longer. With a determined flap of his wings, he soared into the sky, a feathered beacon of hope amidst the carnage. His flight was no cakewalk. German soldiers, aware of the pigeon's crucial role, opened fire. One leg shattered, a bullet whizzed past his head, yet Cher Ami pressed on, fueled by an unwavering sense of duty. He tumbled through the air, his tiny body racked with pain, but his wings never faltered. Finally, amidst cheers and tears, he landed at the American lines, his message clutched tightly in his wounded leg. The message reached its destination, and reinforcements were dispatched. The lost battalion was saved, but at a heavy cost. Cher Ami, his chest riddled with shrapnel, had paid the price. He was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal, the highest honor bestowed on animals by the U.S. military, a testament to his bravery. Yet, the story doesn't end there. The Germans, furious at the pigeon's intervention, used Cher Ami's capture as propaganda, accusing the Americans of using illegal communication methods. Tensions escalated, and the incident, though seemingly insignificant, fueled animosity between the two nations. Cher Ami's legacy transcends his individual act of heroism. He reminds us that history is shaped not just by grand battles and powerful leaders, but also by the unexpected contributions of unlikely heroes. A mere pigeon, through his unwavering courage, became a symbol of resilience and the unsung hero in a conflict that forever altered the course of the world. His story, etched in the annals of history, serves as a poignant reminder that even the smallest creatures can have the biggest impact, and that sometimes, the most unexpected twists of fate can spark the flames of war. The wrong map that led to empire, when navigation errors created accidental superpowers. Imagine a world where continents were misplaced, coastlines meandered into fantastical shapes, and exploration relied on star charts scribbled on goat hide. Welcome to the age of exploration, where intrepid explorers, armed with courage, questionable instruments, and often terribly inaccurate maps, set sail into the unknown. And wouldn't you know it, sometimes, getting gloriously lost led to the most magnificent finds. Take, for instance, the case of Christopher Columbus. Now, history might paint him as a bold discoverer of the Americas, but here's the juicy secret, he was aiming for India. Equipped with a map more akin to a fever dream than a navigational tool, he stumbled upon a whole new continent instead. Oops. His mistake ignited the Colombian exchange, forever altering the landscape of not just continents, but cultures and cuisines. Talk about an unintended consequence on a global scale. Then there's the Viking sagas, tales of fierce seafarers venturing westward in search of new lands. Led by the legendary Leif Erikson, they landed in a place they called Vinland, believed to be somewhere in North America. Their map, etched on memorine whispered stories, wasn't exactly GPS accurate, but it landed them smack dab in Newfoundland, marking the first known European exploration of the Americas before Columbus. 
Imagine their surprise, and ours, realizing they weren't in some mythical land, but on a whole new continent. But wait, the plot thickens. The Portuguese explorer Pedro Alvarez Cabral, setting sail for India with a map, hopefully, more reliable than Columbus, got caught in a convenient storm. This inconvenience nudged him westward, and voila. He landed in present-day Brazil, claiming it for Portugal. Whoops, another accidental empire built on a navigational boo-boo. These wrong maps weren't just cartographic errors, they were springboards for cultural exchange, economic booms, and the rise of empires. They remind us that history rarely unfolds in a straight line, and sometimes, the most significant discoveries are born from unexpected detours. So, the next time you find yourself hopelessly lost, with a reliable map, hopefully, remember, who knows what hidden gems might be waiting around the next bend. After all, the greatest empires were sometimes built on the foundations of the most glorious wrong turns. The potato that powered a revolution, how a humble spud fueled a fight for independence. Forget muskets and manifestos, the Irish Rebellion of 1798 had a far less glamorous, yet surprisingly potent, secret weapon, the potato. This humble tuber, native to the Andes, had quietly woven its way into Irish kitchens and hearts, becoming not just a staple food, but a symbol of resilience and, ultimately, revolution. Imagine a land perpetually teetering on the brink of famine, its people clinging to meager harvests of wheat and barley. Enter the potato, a hardy crop capable of thriving in poor soil and yielding tenfold more calories than traditional grains. It was like manna from heaven, feeding the masses and fostering a population boom. By the late 18th century, potatoes accounted for almost two-thirds of the Irish diet. But this newfound dependence bred vulnerability. When blight, a devastating fungal disease, struck in 1845, it wasn't just crops that withered, but hope itself. The potato famine, as it came to be known, unleashed a wave of starvation and death, wiping out nearly a quarter of the Irish population and forcing millions to flee. Yet, amidst the despair, a simmering anger brewed. The British government, seen as indifferent to the plight of the Irish, became the target of resentment. The potato, once a symbol of sustenance, morphed into a potent symbol of oppression. Pamphlets raged against English tyranny and potato genocide, igniting a revolutionary fervor. The 1798 rebellion, though ultimately unsuccessful, was fueled by the desperation born from the famine. The potato, once a source of life, became a rallying cry for freedom. Its absence became a powerful reminder of the injustice suffered, a stark contrast to the abundance enjoyed by their British rulers. The story of the potato and the Irish rebellion goes beyond a failed uprising. It's a testament to the unexpected ways seemingly mundane things can shape the course of history. It's a reminder that food, far from being just sustenance, can be a potent force for both oppression and resistance. And it's a cautionary tale of how over-reliance on a single crop can leave communities vulnerable to devastating change. So, the next time you reach for a French fry or mash some taters, remember this, the humble spud is more than just a delicious side dish. It's a reminder of resilience, revolution, and the enduring power of a seemingly simple root vegetable to shape the destiny of nations. The fashion faux pas that launched a rebellion, how a queen's hairstyle ignited dissent. Forget Marie Antoinette's alleged, let them eat cake, quip, likely apocryphal, but historically potent nonetheless. The real fashion faux pas that ignited flames of rebellion wasn't a callous remark, but an extravagant hairstyle known as the poof. This towering confection of teased hair, adorned with feathers, ribbons, and even miniature ships, became an unwitting symbol of excess and inequality, fueling the fire of the French Revolution. Picture a world on the brink. The year is 1775, and France simmers with discontent. Poverty and hunger gnaw at the masses, while the opulent court of Queen Marie Antoinette flaunts its wealth in flamboyant fashion. Enter the poof, a hairstyle that defied gravity in reason. Rising a foot or more above the queen's head, it was a marvel of engineering, 
requiring hours of construction and gallons of pomade. Now, the poof wasn't just impractical, it was ostentatious. Its sheer extravagance, in stark contrast to the suffering of the commoners, became a potent symbol of the disconnect between the ruling class and the people. Pamphlets and caricatures lampooned the queen's outlandish coiffure, portraying it as a literal weight on the backs of the poor. Of course, the poof wasn't the sole cause of the revolution. It was, however, a potent visual representation of the simmering resentment. It became a rallying cry, a target for public scorn, and a reminder of the vast chasm between the haves and have-nots. As the revolution gained momentum, the poof went out of fashion faster than a souffle falls. But the story doesn't end there. The poof's legacy transcends its historical context. It serves as a cautionary tale of how even seemingly frivolous things can become flashpoints for social unrest. It reminds us that fashion, far from being superficial, can be a powerful tool for expressing dissent and challenging the status quo. And let's be honest, it also provides endless fodder for hilarious historical memes and costume dramas. So, the next time you admire a meticulously coiffed celebrity or witness a questionable fashion trend, remember Marie Antoinette's poof. It's a reminder that fashion, even in its most ridiculous forms, can hold the power to ignite change, spark revolutions, and, perhaps, inspire a good chuckle or two along the way. The typo that saved a city, how a printing error averted disaster. Imagine a bustling metropolis humming with life, oblivious to a ticking time bomb hidden in plain sight. Now, picture a single misspelling, a seemingly insignificant typo, acting as the improbable hero, averting disaster and etching its mark on the city's history. Sounds like a scene from a historical thriller, doesn't it? Well, it's not fiction, but a very real twist of fate that saved the Dutch city of Leiden from annihilation in 1672. The year was a tumultuous one. The Netherlands was embroiled in the Franco-Dutch War, facing the might of the French army. Leiden, a strategic city, found itself under siege, its citizens facing starvation and despair. The only hope lay in flooding the surrounding land, creating a watery barrier against the attackers. But here's the catch, the plan hinged on strategically cutting specific dikes, a delicate operation with potentially catastrophic consequences. Enter Isaac Sweers, a Leiden printer tasked with creating vital instructions for the dike cutting mission. Under immense pressure and likely fueled by sleep deprivation, he made a seemingly innocuous error. Instead of the Dutch word open, openen, he accidentally printed ho den, hold. Imagine the panic when the instructions reached the designated commanders. Hold the dikes. The fate of the city hinged on this single, misplaced letter. Thankfully, some level-headed individuals, suspecting a mistake, consulted with Sweers who readily admitted his error. Disaster averted. The dikes were opened, flooding the land and stalling the French advance. Leiden was saved, not by military might, but by a fortunate typo in the quick thinking of its citizens. The story doesn't end there. The Ho Den incident became a legend, a testament to the power of human intervention and the unpredictable nature of history. It serves as a reminder that even the smallest errors can have monumental consequences, and sometimes, a fortunate mistake can be the catalyst for salvation. So, the next time you find yourself grumbling over a typo, remember the tale of Leiden. It might just be a misplaced letter, but it can hold the power to reshape history, reminding us that even the most seemingly insignificant details can have a profound impact on the grand tapestry of time. The prank that changed a dynasty, how a royal joke led to a new ruler. History is filled with stories of cunning power plays, bloody battles, and meticulously orchestrated coups. But sometimes, the most unexpected twists of fate arise from the unlikeliest of sources, a prank, executed with a dash of royal arrogance and a sprinkle of bad timing. That's the tale of how a jester's jest catapulted an unlikely figure onto the throne, forever altering the course of a dynasty. Step into the opulent court of King Alfonso X of Castile, Spain, in the 13th century. Alfonso, despite his moniker, The Wise, wasn't exactly known for his humility. 
Enter Rui Perez de Palenzuela, the court jester, a master of wit and mischief. Now, Rui Perez knew how to push the boundaries, testing the king's patience with his sharp barbs and playful taunts. But one particular prank would etch his name in history, albeit unintentionally. One day, during a courtly gathering, Rui Perez, emboldened by the king's usual indulgence, decided to play a trick. He proclaimed, in a booming voice that echoed through the hall, My lords and ladies, the king declares that upon his death, the throne shall pass not to his eldest son, Sancho, but to the one who can make him laugh the hardest. The stunned silence was broken only by the nervous coughs of courtiers and the bewildered expression of Prince Sancho. Alfonso, initially taken aback, found himself caught in a self-made trap. Laughter erupted, nervous at first, then genuine, as courtiers scrambled to amuse the king, hoping to curry favor or simply avoid his wrath. But the joke backfired spectacularly. Alfonso, despite the amusement, couldn't shake the feeling of unease. The very idea of his kingdom divided in a laughter-fueled competition for the throne nodded him. The prank, intended as light-hearted entertainment, had sown a seed of doubt in the king's mind about his chosen successor. As fate would have it, Alfonso passed away not long after, leaving the kingdom in turmoil. While Sancho had the legitimate claim, his younger brother, the charismatic and ambitious Infante Pedro, rallied behind the prank decree, claiming the right to the throne through laughter. The kingdom fractured, plunging into a bloody civil war known as the War of the Two Peters. Ultimately, Pedro emerged victorious, his rule forever marked by the shadow of the jester's prank. The kingdom paid a heavy price for a moment of royal amusement, and Rui Perez, the unwitting catalyst, disappeared into the mists of history, his jestful act leaving an indelible mark on the Castilian dynasty. This tale serves as a reminder that even the most seemingly insignificant actions can have far-reaching consequences. It highlights the volatile nature of power, where a king's misplaced sense of humor and a jester's audacity can rewrite the course of nations. So, the next time you contemplate a prank, remember the fate of King Alfonso and the jester who turned laughter into the roar of war. The game of chance that defined borders, how a card game settled territorial disputes. Imagine a world where the fate of nations hinges not on bloody battles or drawn-out negotiations, but on a simple card game. Sounds like a scene from a fantasy novel, doesn't it? But this is the very real story of how a game of chance settled a territorial dispute between two American states, forever etching its mark on the map of the United States. The year is 1880, and the fledgling states of Colorado and Kansas are locked in a heated battle over a strip of land aptly named the Beecher's Island. Both sides claimed ownership, fueled by political ambitions and economic interests. Tensions soared, threats of violence simmered, and a potential civil war loomed on the horizon. Enter the unlikely hero, a humble deck of cards. In a stroke of what can only be described as inspired desperation, both states agreed to settle the dispute with a high-stakes poker game. The stakes. The contested territory itself. Winner takes all. The chosen champions were two skilled card players, representing the grit and determination of their respective states. The tension was palpable as cards were dealt, bets placed, and bluffs exchanged. History doesn't tell us the specific game they played, but the drama must have been intense, the silence broken only by the rustling of cards and the nervous coughs of spectators. Finally, after a nail-biting game, a victor emerged. Colorado's representative, Richard Sopras, walked away with the winning hand, securing the contested land for his state. Kansas, defeated but surprisingly accepting, honored the agreement. The game concluded peacefully, averting what could have been a bloody conflict. This unconventional resolution became known as the poker game for a state, a bizarre footnote in American history. It serves as a reminder that even the most serious disputes can be settled in unexpected ways, and that sometimes, a bit of chance and a willingness to gamble can rewrite the map. Of course, the story doesn't end there. The Beecher's Island incident sparked debate and raised questions about the legitimacy of settling serious matters through games of chance. 
While it wasn't a precedent-setting event, it remains a fascinating and unique chapter in American history. So, the next time you shuffle a deck of cards, remember the tale of Beecher's Island. It's a story about ambition, conflict, and the unexpected ways in which chance can shape the course of nations, reminding us that history is rarely written in a straight line, and sometimes, the most bizarre twists of fate can have lasting consequences. Controversial Pivots The missed handshake that ignited World War I, a diplomatic faux pas with deadly consequences. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria in June 1914 is often cited as the spark that ignited the inferno of World War I. But history, as is often the case, is rarely a single spark landing on dry tinder. In truth, the Great War was a culmination of many factors, and one often overlooked detail adds a layer of tragic irony, a missed handshake. Picture a bustling train station in Berlin, just weeks before the assassination. Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany, renowned for his flamboyant personality and volatile temper, eagerly awaits the arrival of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. The two monarchs, despite strained relations, are scheduled for a state visit aimed at easing tensions. As Nicholas disembarks, the Kaiser, ever the theatrical performer, strides forward with outstretched hand, expecting a warm greeting. But the Tsar, wary of the Kaiser's unpredictable nature and advised by his cautious advisers, hesitates. Instead of a firm handshake, he offers a curt nod and a mumbled greeting. The Kaiser, his hand suspended in mid-air, is visibly taken aback. The awkward exchange sets the tone for the entire visit, leaving a palpable chill in the air. Now, was this missed handshake the sole cause of the war? Absolutely not. But it served as a potent symbol of the fractured relationship between the two empires. It highlighted the distrust, miscommunication, and simmering animosity that had been brewing for years. This seemingly insignificant act of non-touch became a microcosm of the larger power struggle, the missed opportunity for understanding that could have potentially altered the course of history. The story doesn't end there. The awkward encounter in Berlin fueled suspicion and paranoia on both sides. It emboldened hawks within each government, hardening their resolve towards war. When the assassination in Sarajevo finally occurred, it wasn't just the death of an archduke, but the culmination of years of tension, fueled by missed opportunities for connection and understanding. The unclasped hands incident serves as a poignant reminder that history is shaped not just by grand events, but also by seemingly insignificant moments. It highlights the power of symbolism, the importance of communication, and the devastating consequences of misunderstandings on a global scale. It begs the question, what if that handshake had landed? What if that brief moment of awkwardness had been replaced by a genuine gesture of goodwill? Could it have changed the course of history and prevented the millions of lives lost in the Great War? We'll never know for sure. But the story of the missed handshake in Berlin stands as a cautionary tale, urging us to consider the weight of our actions, the power of human connection, and the ripple effects that even the smallest gestures can have on the grand tapestry of history. The butterfly effect of a sandwich, how a seemingly trivial event triggered a global conflict. Forget the assassination in Sarajevo, history whispers of a more peculiar trigger for World War I, a humble ham and cheese sandwich. Now, before you scoff, consider the intricate web of cause and effect that weaves the fabric of history. Sometimes, the most monumental shifts hinge on the most unexpected hinges, and in this case, a seemingly insignificant lunch break altered the course of nations. Picture a sweltering June day in 1914. Gavrilo Princip, a young Bosnian Serb fueled by nationalist fervor, roams the streets of Sarajevo, his heart heavy with the weight of his mission. His target, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne. But fate, as it often does, throws Princip a curveball. His initial assassination attempt fails. Frustrated and famished, he wanders into a nearby café, seeking solace in a simple ham and cheese sandwich. This seemingly trivial act becomes the pivotal point in our story. 
While Princip munches on his sandwich, the Archduke's motorcade takes an unexpected detour, driven by a wrong turn taken by the chauffeur. This detour, orchestrated by chance and a misplaced sandwich break, brings the Archduke face to face with Princip once again. Seizing the opportunity, Princip fires the fatal shots, igniting the spark that would soon engulf the world in flames. Now, was the sandwich the sole cause of the war? Of course not. Decades of political tensions, ethnic rivalries, and imperial ambitions simmered beneath the surface. But the sandwich incident serves as a potent symbol of the butterfly effect in action. A seemingly insignificant event, a missed turn, a quick bite, set in motion a chain reaction with devastating consequences. The assassination triggered Austria-Hungary's declaration of war against Serbia, igniting a domino effect of alliances that drew major European powers into the conflict. Millions perished, empires crumbled, and the world was forever changed. The story of the sandwich that launched a war serves as a chilling reminder of the interconnectedness of our world. It highlights the delicate balance of history, where seemingly insignificant moments can have far-reaching and often tragic consequences. It forces us to consider the hidden connections, the unexpected twists of fate, and the ripple effects of our actions, however small they may seem. So, the next time you reach for a sandwich, remember the tale of Sarajevo. It might just be a ham and cheese, but it serves as a reminder that even the most ordinary moments can hold the power to shape the course of history. And who knows, maybe next time, the sandwich will lead to a more peaceful turn of events. The code crack that altered espionage, how breaking an enigma changed the course of the war. Imagine a world draped in secrecy, where communication is shrouded in unbreakable ciphers, and the fate of nations hinges on the whispers of encrypted messages. This was the reality of World War II, where the German Enigma machine, a seemingly impregnable code-making device, cast a long shadow over Allied intelligence. But amidst the darkness, a team of brilliant minds cracked the code, forever altering the course of the war and etching their names in the annals of espionage history. At Bletchley Park, a sprawling estate nestled in the English countryside, a motley crew of mathematicians, linguists, and codebreakers waged a silent war against the Enigma. Led by the enigmatic Alan Turing, a pioneer in computer science, they toiled day and night, deciphering the seemingly random sequences of letters that flowed from captured German messages. The Enigma, with its ever-changing rotors and complex plug boards, seemed an impossible puzzle. Yet, through sheer intellect, meticulous analysis, and a dash of audacity, the Bletchley Park team began to chip away at its secrets. They exploited flaws in the German operating procedures, identified patterns in message content, and even built their own replica Enigma machines to simulate its workings. The first breakthrough came in 1941, with the revelation of a critical flaw in the German keying procedures. This crib, as it was known, allowed the codebreakers to decipher a limited number of messages, providing invaluable insights into German plans and troop movements. But the game was constantly changing. The Germans, aware of potential vulnerabilities, made frequent adjustments to the Enigma settings, forcing the Bletchley Park team to constantly adapt and innovate. New machines were built, new techniques developed, and a constant vigil was maintained to ensure the flow of decrypted intelligence. The impact of the Enigma decrypts was profound. They played a pivotal role in major Allied victories, from the Battle of the Atlantic to the D-Day landings. They saved countless lives and shortened the war, preventing untold devastation. The story of the Enigma codebreak holds more than just historical significance. It's a testament to human ingenuity, the power of collaboration, and the ability to triumph over seemingly insurmountable challenges. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can shine through, and that breaking down barriers, whether literal or metaphorical, can pave the way for a brighter future. While the details of the code-breaking effort remain shrouded in secrecy, the legacy of Bletchley Park and its codebreakers lives on. It serves as a constant reminder that even the most complex codes can be cracked, and that the pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, can change the course of history.
The assassination that backfired, when killing a leader fueled revolutions. History is littered with assassinations, some successful in achieving their immediate goals, others sparking unintended consequences that ripple through time. One such case is the assassination of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia in 1917, an event intended to quell dissent but instead igniting the flames of revolution and forever altering the course of a nation. Imagine a Russia simmering with discontent. Years of economic hardship, political repression, and military blunders had fueled a growing tide of anger against the Tsarist regime. Nicholas, perceived as out of touch and unwilling to enact reforms, became the symbol of everything wrong with Russia. Enter a group of revolutionaries, the Bolsheviks, led by the charismatic Vladimir Lenin. Their goal, to overthrow the Tsar and establish a communist state. On a fateful night in July 1917, a group of Bolsheviks stormed the Tsar's residence, ending his reign with a hail of bullets. But instead of achieving stability, the assassination backfired spectacularly. The provisional government, formed after the Tsar's abdication, proved ineffective in addressing the people's grievances. Power struggles ensued, creating a vacuum that the Bolsheviks were more than ready to fill. Lenin, capitalizing on the public's disillusionment and yearning for change, rallied the masses under the banner of peace, land, and bread. He promised an end to Russia's involvement in World War I, redistribution of land to the peasantry, and an end to food shortages. His message resonated, and the Bolsheviks gained momentum. By October 1917, the Bolsheviks launched a second, ultimately successful, revolution, seizing power and establishing the world's first communist state. The assassination, intended to quell dissent, had inadvertently paved the way for a far more radical transformation than anyone could have anticipated. The story doesn't end there. The assassination and subsequent revolutions had far-reaching consequences. The Cold War, a decades-long ideological struggle between the communist and capitalist blocs, can be traced back to this pivotal event. Russia's trajectory was forever altered, its influence on the global stage shifting dramatically. But beyond the geopolitical landscape, the backfired bullet serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us that attempting to silence dissent through violence can often have unintended and far-reaching consequences. It highlights the power of popular uprisings when fueled by genuine grievances and a yearning for change. Moreover, it underlines the importance of understanding the complex web of causes and effects that shape historical events. The assassination of Tsar Nicholas II wasn't just a singular act of violence, it was a catalyst that triggered a chain reaction, forever altering the course of not just Russia, but the world. So, the next time you encounter a historical event, remember the backfired bullet. It's a reminder that history is rarely neat and linear, and that the most seemingly insignificant moments can have profound and unexpected consequences. It's a call to examine the past with a critical eye, seeking not just the immediate causes, but the deeper currents that shape the tides of change. The uprising sparked by a bra, how undergarments became symbols of defiance. Forget muskets and manifestos, the 1968 student protests in France had an unlikely symbol of defiance, the brazier. Now, before you scoff, consider the power of symbols, the audacity of subversion, and the unexpected ways seemingly mundane objects can spark social change. Imagine a Paris brimming with discontent. Students, fueled by ideals of freedom and equality, challenged the rigid social and political structures of the time. Their protests, initially peaceful, were met with increasing police brutality, escalating tensions. Enter a group of female students at Nanterre University, fed up with the patriarchal norms and sexual objectification ingrained in society. They decided to make a statement, a bold act of defiance that would resonate with the simmering anger of their generation. On March 25, 1968, hundreds of women gathered in the courtyard, their faces painted with slogans, their voices raised in chants. But the centerpiece of their protest wasn't a political placard or a revolutionary flag. It was a pile of bras, ceremoniously thrown into a bin, a symbolic rejection of the societal constraints they represented. 
this seemingly frivolous act became a powerful symbol. Bras, once viewed as undergarments of feminine allure, were transformed into instruments of protest. By discarding them, the women reclaimed their bodies, their sexuality, and their right to exist beyond the male gaze. The bra-burning incident, as it came to be known, captured the media's attention and sparked outrage among conservatives. But for the generation yearning for change, it resonated deeply. It wasn't just about bras, it was about challenging societal norms, questioning authority, and demanding equality. The image of defiant women discarding their bras became an enduring symbol of the 1968 protests, transcending national boundaries and inspiring similar acts of defiance in other countries. It served as a reminder that even the most personal choices can have political implications, and that challenging the status quo can begin with the seemingly insignificant. The story of the upliftment goes beyond its historical context. It highlights the power of symbolism in social movements, the importance of reclaiming narratives, and the unexpected ways everyday objects can become powerful tools for change. It reminds us that even the most seemingly trivial acts of defiance can contribute to a larger movement, paving the way for a more just and equitable world. So, the next time you reach for your bra, remember the women of Nanterre. It might just be an undergarment, but it serves as a reminder that even the most personal choices can hold the power to challenge the status quo and ignite social change. And who knows, maybe your next act of defiance, however small, will spark a movement of its own. The protest song that toppled a regime, how music became a weapon for change. Throughout history, music has served as a powerful tool for expressing dissent, rallying the masses, and even shaping the course of political movements. Protest songs have served as anthems for revolutions, given voice to the voiceless, and challenged oppressive regimes. Here are some examples of protest songs that had a significant impact. Blowin' in the Wind, by Bob Dylan, 1963 This iconic song became a powerful anthem for the American civil rights movement, asking poignant questions about war, peace, and equality. We Shall Overcome, Various Artists, 1940s present originally a union song, We Shall Overcome, became a powerful anthem for the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s, expressing hope and resilience in the face of oppression. The Times They Are a Changin', by Bob Dylan, 1964 This song captured the spirit of social and political change sweeping through the 1960s, encouraging listeners to embrace progress and challenge the status quo. Old Sea Come Alive, by Pete Seeger, 1940s This song, based on a traditional spiritual, became a rallying cry for labor unions and workers' rights movements throughout the 20th century. Bella Ciao, Unknown Origin, Various Artists This Italian folk song became an anti-fascist anthem during World War II and continues to be a symbol of resistance against oppression today. Aluta Continua, The Struggle Continues, by Carlos Carnero, 1972 This song became a powerful symbol of resistance against the Pinochet dictatorship in Chile. It's important to note that while music can be a powerful tool for change, it rarely single-handedly topples regimes. Protest songs often work in conjunction with other forms of activism, social movements, and political pressure. However, their ability to inspire, unite, and raise awareness makes them vital components of struggles for justice and equality. The leak that exposed a scandal, how whistleblowers changed the world. Whistleblowers, individuals who expose wrongdoing within organizations, have played a crucial role in uncovering scandals, sparking reforms, and holding powerful entities accountable. Their stories offer powerful examples of how individuals can make a difference, often at great personal risk. Here are some notable cases. Watergate, in 1972, Mark Felt and Deep Throat, later revealed to be FBI Associate Director W. Mark Felt, leaked information about the Watergate scandal to journalist Bob Woodward, ultimately leading to President Nixon's resignation and exposing widespread corruption within the Nixon administration. Challenger Disaster, in 1986, engineers Morton Thiokol engineers Roger Boisjoli and Alan McDonald raised concerns about the safety of the O-rings in the Space Shuttle Challenger, but their warnings were ignored. The Challenger exploded shortly after launch, 
killing all seven astronauts on board. Their story highlights the importance of listening to whistleblowers and prioritizing safety concerns. Edward Snowden, in 2013, former NSA contractor Edward Snowden leaked classified documents revealing the extent of the U.S. government's mass surveillance programs, sparking a global debate about privacy and government overreach. Although facing international controversy and exile, Snowden's actions led to increased public awareness and reforms for surveillance programs. Facebook Files In 2021, Francis Haugen, a former Facebook product manager, leaked internal documents exposing the company's awareness of its platform's negative impacts on mental health, misinformation, and user safety. These leaks led to congressional hearings, investigations, and increased scrutiny of Facebook's practices. These are just a few examples of the many whistleblowers who have made a significant impact on the world. They come from diverse backgrounds and expose various types of wrongdoing, but they share a common thread, courage, integrity, and a commitment to exposing the truth. Whistleblowing's Impact Exposing wrongdoing and sparking reforms, whistleblowers play a crucial role in bringing to light unethical and illegal activities, leading to accountability for powerful entities and positive changes in policies and practices. Empowering others to speak up Whistleblowers' stories can inspire others to come forward and expose wrongdoing, creating a ripple effect of accountability and transparency. Raising awareness of critical issues, whistleblower disclosures can bring public attention to important issues that may have been otherwise ignored, fostering public discourse and prompting action. However, it's important to acknowledge the challenges. Personal risks, whistleblowers often face retaliation, including job loss, legal threats, and personal attacks. Complexities of truth and evidence, whistleblower disclosures can be nuanced and require careful evaluation to understand the full picture. Balancing competing interests, balancing freedom of speech with national security concerns or protecting intellectual property can be challenging in whistleblower cases. In conclusion, whistleblowers play a vital role in holding powerful entities accountable and driving positive change. While they face significant challenges, their courage and commitment to truth can inspire others and make a lasting impact on the world. Surprising Revelations The Lost City That Redefined History, How an Ancient Discovery Rewrote the Timeline The Lost City of Gobekli Tepe, nestled in the rolling hills of southeastern Turkey, has challenged our understanding of human history since its discovery in 1994. This ancient megalithic site, dating back to roughly 9,500 to 9,000 BCE, predates Stonehenge by 7,000 years and the Great Pyramids of Giza by 11,000 years, forcing us to reconsider the capabilities and social structures of hunter-gatherer societies. Rewriting the Narrative Prior to Gobekli Tepe, the prevailing theory was that hunter-gatherers were nomadic bands solely focused on survival. Gobekli Tepe shattered this perception, revealing monumental stone structures carved with intricate animal reliefs and symbols. These structures, some weighing up to 60 tons, suggest a level of organization, cooperation, and cultural complexity previously thought unimaginable for such an early period. Key Features Massive T-shaped pillars, the site features over 200 T-shaped pillars, some reaching heights of up to 20 feet. These pillars are decorated with carvings of animals like lions, bulls, and cranes, as well as abstract symbols. Sophisticated construction, the pillars were quarried, transported, and erected using tools made of stone and bone. This feat of engineering suggests a well-coordinated effort by a large number of people. Ritualistic purpose, the animal carvings and the S placement on hilltops suggest a religious or ritualistic function. It is believed that Gobekli Tepe may have served as a gathering place for ceremonial purposes. Impact on Archaeology The discovery of Gobekli Tepe has led to a re-evaluation of human history in several ways. Challenging established theories, it challenges the long-held belief that complex societies only arose with the development of agriculture and permanent settlements. Highlighting human potential it demonstrates the cognitive and social capabilities of hunter-gatherer societies, suggesting they were more complex and organized than previously thought. 
sparking new questions, it raises new questions about the development of religion, symbolism, and social structures in early human societies. Looking ahead. Gobekli Teep continues to be a subject of ongoing research and excavation. As more is unearthed, our understanding of this enigmatic site and its place in human history will continue to evolve. The discovery of Gobekli Teep serves as a reminder that much of our past remains hidden, waiting to be uncovered and challenge our existing knowledge. The fake artifact that fooled experts, how history can be a clever illusion. History is often portrayed as a series of well-documented facts, neatly arranged on a timeline. But the truth is, even the most meticulous records can be misleading, and sometimes, clever illusions can masquerade as historical truths, fooling even the experts. Here are a few captivating examples of fake artifacts that expose the vulnerabilities of historical narratives. The Piltdown Man Discovered in 1912, the Piltdown Man, a skull fragment with an ape-like jaw and a human-like cranium, was hailed as the missing link in human evolution. For decades, it shaped our understanding of human ancestry. However, advanced scientific techniques in the 1950s revealed the skull to be a clever forgery, painstakingly crafted from a modern human skull and an orangutan jaw. The Piltdown Man exposed the dangers of confirmation bias and the need for rigorous scientific scrutiny. The Hitler Diaries In 1983, German news magazine Stern published excerpts from what seemed like Adolf Hitler's personal diaries, offering shocking insights into his inner world. The world was captivated, but soon, doubts arose. Experts questioned the paper quality, the handwriting, and historical inconsistencies. Investigations confirmed the diaries to be elaborate forgeries, meticulously crafted to deceive. The Hitler diaries exposed the dangers of sensationalism and the importance of historical context in evaluating sources. The Turin Shroud For centuries, the Turin Shroud, a linen cloth bearing the faint image of a crucified man, has been debated as a genuine burial shroud of Jesus Christ. Believers see it as a miraculous artifact while skeptics argue it's a medieval forgery. Scientific analysis has yielded inconclusive results, leaving the debate open. The Turin Shroud highlights the subjective nature of historical interpretation and the challenges of definitively proving or disproving authenticity. The Case of the Etruscan Warriors In 1983, life-size terracotta warriors were unearthed near Xi'an, China, instantly hailed as a groundbreaking discovery. But doubts soon emerged about their authenticity. The paint seemed too vibrant, the styles too diverse for a single period. Investigations revealed the warriors to be elaborate forgeries, skillfully crafted in the 20th century to deceive collectors. The case exposed the lucrative art forgery market and the need for thorough provenance checks. These examples remind us that history is not a static record, but an ongoing process of interpretation and re-evaluation. Clever illusions can expose vulnerabilities in our understanding of the past, prompting critical thinking and a healthy dose of skepticism. They also highlight the importance of rigorous scientific methods, historical context, and multidisciplinary approaches in navigating the complexities of historical narratives. So, the next time you encounter a historical claim, remember the Piltdown Man, the Hitler Diaries, and the Etruscan warriors. Ask yourself, who benefits from this narrative? What evidence supports it? And could it be a clever illusion, masquerading as truth? By questioning and analyzing, we can ensure that history doesn't become a playground for clever illusions, but a journey towards a more nuanced and accurate understanding of our past. The unsung hero who changed the world, how everyday people shape major events. Throughout history, major events are often attributed to grand figures, powerful leaders, or groundbreaking inventions. But the reality is, these pivotal moments are rarely the work of a single individual. Instead, they are often woven from the threads of countless smaller actions, the contributions of everyday people who dared to challenge the status quo, defied expectations, or simply did what they believed was right. Here are some inspiring stories of unsung heroes who helped shape the world. 
Rosa Parks and the Montgomery Bus Boycott In 1955, an ordinary seamstress named Rosa Parks sparked the Montgomery Bus Boycott by refusing to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. Her act of defiance, rooted in the everyday struggle against racial segregation, ignited a movement that challenged discriminatory practices and paved the way for the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Malala Yousafzai and the Fight for Education As a young girl in Pakistan, Malala Yousafzai dared to speak out for her right to education, even when threatened by the Taliban. Her courage inspired millions around the world to fight for girls' education and equality, earning her the Nobel Peace Prize at the age of 17. Irina Sendler and the Rescue of Jewish Children During the Holocaust, a Polish social worker named Irina Sendler risked her life to smuggle over 2,500 Jewish children out of Nazi-occupied Warsaw. Her act of compassion, fueled by everyday human empathy, saved countless lives and serves as a powerful reminder of the potential for good within each of us. Wangari Maathai and the Green Belt Movement In Kenya, a biologist named Wangari Maathai mobilized women in rural communities to plant trees, leading to the formation of the Green Belt Movement. This seemingly simple act of planting addressed complex issues like deforestation, poverty, and climate change, demonstrating the power of collective action and environmental stewardship. The Whistleblowers Who Exposed Wrongdoing, from Edward Snowden revealing mass surveillance programs to whistleblowers in various industries exposing corporate malpractices, ordinary individuals have played a crucial role in holding powerful entities accountable. Their courage to speak up, even at personal risk, has led to reforms, heightened awareness, and a push for greater transparency. These are just a few examples of the countless everyday heroes who have shaped our world. Their stories remind us that positive change doesn't always require grand gestures or extraordinary talents. It can start with a single act of courage, compassion, or simply doing what you believe is right. So, the next time you think about the world's major events, remember the unsung heroes behind them, and consider the impact you might have in shaping your own corner of history. The Animal That Saved a Nation, How Unexpected Allies Contribute to Victory Throughout history, unlikely heroes have emerged, turning the tide of battles and shaping the fates of nations. Sometimes, these heroes aren't even human, but animals whose unique abilities and contributions prove invaluable in times of conflict. Here are a few fascinating examples. Carrier pigeons of World War I, before the widespread use of radios, communication was crucial, and carrier pigeons played a vital role. These feathered messengers delivered critical messages over long distances, often under treacherous conditions. Sher Ami, a valiant pigeon, even saved a lost battalion by delivering a message despite being severely wounded. Carrier pigeons are credited with saving countless lives by ensuring timely communication and coordinated maneuvers. Dogs of War from sniffing out explosives to providing companionship and morale boosts, dogs have served alongside soldiers for centuries. During World War II, dogs like Rin Tin Tin and Sergeant Stubby became heroes, locating landmines, saving injured soldiers, and even delivering messages. Their keen senses and unwavering loyalty made them invaluable allies on the battlefield. Dolphin Detectives of the Cold War During the Cold War, the U.S. Navy trained dolphins to detect underwater threats like mines and enemy divers. These marine mammals, with their exceptional sonar capabilities, patrolled sensitive areas, contributing significantly to national security. Their unique skills served as an unexpected advantage in a tense geopolitical climate. Horses of the Cavalry, though their role has diminished in modern warfare, horses played a pivotal role in shaping history. From the Mongol Empire to the American Civil War, cavalry charges were a decisive force, relying on the speed, agility, and strength of these remarkable animals. Horses not only transported soldiers but also instilled fear and awe in opponents, influencing the outcome of countless battles. Rats of mine detection, these intelligent rodents have proven indispensable in humanitarian efforts. Trained to sniff out landmines, they have cleared fields in Cambodia, Mozambique, and other war-torn regions, saving countless lives and enabling communities to rebuild safely. 
Their keen sense of smell and small size make them ideal for navigating dangerous areas, highlighting the unexpected ways animals can contribute to peacebuilding. These are just a few examples of how unexpected allies, both furry and feathered, have played crucial roles in shaping history. They remind us that courage, loyalty, and unique abilities can come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes, the most unlikely heroes can make the most significant contributions. The next time you consider stories of war and victory, remember to look beyond the human element and appreciate the diverse cast of characters who help write the chapters of our world. The accidental invention that revolutionized the world, when mistakes lead to breakthroughs. History is littered with serendipitous discoveries, where chance encounters and unexpected mishaps birthed innovations that revolutionized our world. These, accidental inventions, remind us that progress can come not just from calculated research, but also from the open mind and a dash of good luck. Here are some incredible examples. Post-it notes, in 1968, Spencer Silver, a chemist at 3M, created a weak adhesive initially deemed useless. However, his colleague Art Fry, noticing its ability to hold paper without damaging it, saw its potential for bookmarks. The humble post-it note, born from a failed adhesive, became a global office staple, changing the way we communicate and remember. Penicillin, in 1928, Alexander Fleming returned from vacation to find mold had contaminated his Staphylococcus bacteria cultures. Instead of discarding them, he observed that the mold inhibited bacterial growth. This chance observation led to the discovery of penicillin, the first true antibiotic, saving countless lives and revolutionizing modern medicine. Microwave, in 1946, Percy Spencer, an engineer working on radar technology, noticed a chocolate bar in his pocket had melted when standing near a magnetron. Intrigued, he experimented, leading to the invention of the microwave oven, a ubiquitous appliance that transformed how we cook and eat. Vulcanized rubber, in 1839, Charles Goodyear accidentally dropped a mixture of rubber and sulfur onto a hot stove. Instead of burning, the rubber became stronger and more elastic. This happy accident led to the invention of vulcanized rubber, crucial for tires, hoses, and countless other applications, revolutionizing transportation and industry. Velcro, in 1948, George de Mestrel returned from a hunting trip covered in burrs from a plant. Intrigued by their tenacious grip, he examined them under a microscope, leading to the invention of Velcro, a fastening system used everywhere from clothing to spacesuits. These stories highlight the importance of curiosity in observation, being open to unexpected outcomes and exploring seemingly insignificant details can lead to breakthroughs. Persistence and experimentation, not giving up on seemingly failed experiments or unexpected results can unlock hidden potential. Openness to chance, recognizing the role of serendipity and embracing the unexpected can lead to revolutionary discoveries. So, the next time you encounter a mistake or unexpected outcome, remember the accidental inventions that changed the world. It might just be the start of your own serendipitous discovery. The secret society that influenced history, how hidden groups impact major events. Throughout history, Secret societies have captured our imaginations, their shrouded activities and alleged influence sparking intrigue and speculation. While their true impact remains shrouded in mystery, some societies have demonstrably influenced major events, leaving an undeniable mark on the world. However, it's important to approach these stories with a critical eye, considering the limitations of available evidence and the often sensationalized narratives surrounding these groups. Here are some examples of secret societies that have been linked to major events in history. The Illuminati, this Bavarian Enlightenment era society, though short lived, has become a symbol of clandestine power and influence. Conspiracy theories abound, linking them to everything from the French Revolution to the New World Order. While their actual influence remains debated, they serve as a reminder of the enduring fascination with hidden power structures. The Freemasons, this fraternal organization with a long and complex history has been accused of influencing political events and wielding significant economic power. While their actual impact is difficult to quantify, 
their influence on prominent figures and their presence in major historical moments like the American Revolution contribute to their mystique. The Skull and Bones Society, this secretive student society at Yale University has produced presidents, politicians, and CEOs, fueling speculation about their influence on American power structures. While their activities remain shrouded in secrecy, their alumni network and alleged rituals spark curiosity and debate about their potential impact. The Trilateral Commission and Bilderberg Group, these contemporary groups, bringing together powerful figures from politics, business, and academia, have been accused of shaping global agendas behind closed doors. While their meetings and discussions are not entirely secret, their perceived exclusivity and influence on influential individuals raise concerns about potential undemocratic decision-making. It's crucial to remember that. Evidence for the direct involvement of secret societies in major events is often limited and circumstantial. Much of the information about their activities comes from rumors, speculation, and leaked documents, making it difficult to assess their true impact. These societies often serve as convenient scapegoats for complex historical events. Attributing major developments to the machinations of hidden groups can be a way to simplify complex narratives and avoid confronting uncomfortable truths. The focus on secrecy can overshadow the actual activities of these groups. While their rituals and symbols might be intriguing, Understanding their public stances, charitable contributions, and community involvement can provide a more nuanced perspective. Ultimately, the influence of secret societies on history remains a subject of debate. While some undoubtedly played a role in specific events, their true impact is often exaggerated and shrouded in mystery. It's important to approach these narratives with critical thinking considering the available evidence and the limitations of our knowledge about these often clandestine groups. The code hidden in plain sight, how deciphering the past requires new perspectives. The phrase, code hidden in plain sight, evokes a thrilling image of secret messages concealed within ordinary objects or behaviors. But beyond the realm of spy novels, this concept also applies to how we decipher history. Sometimes, the key to understanding the past lies not in uncovering hidden texts or forgotten archives, but in reinterpreting what we already see with fresh eyes and new perspectives. Here are some examples of how, codes hidden in plain sight, have unlocked new understandings of history. 1. Everyday objects as historical texts, take mundane objects like clothing, tools, or architecture. By analyzing their design, materials, and usage patterns within the context of their environment and culture, we can glean insights into social structures, economic systems, and cultural values that might not be explicitly documented. 2. Reinterpreting texts, historical documents might seem straightforward, but their true meaning may depend on understanding the cultural context, hidden biases, and unspoken assumptions embedded within the text. Examining alternative viewpoints and employing critical reading strategies can reveal layers of meaning previously overlooked. 3. Deciphering non-written records, oral histories, folktales, and artistic expressions can hold valuable clues about the past, even if not conveyed through written language. Interpreting their symbolic meanings, deciphering metaphors, and understanding their social context can unlock rich historical narratives. Four. Utilizing new technologies, advances in fields like data analysis, DNA sequencing, and archaeological techniques offer fresh perspectives on historical data. This allows us to reconstruct past events with greater accuracy, discover hidden patterns, and challenge established narratives. 5. Embracing diverse voices, traditionally marginalized groups often hold unique perspectives on historical events. By incorporating their experiences and interpretations, we gain a more holistic understanding of the past, challenging dominant narratives and enriching our collective understanding. Why is this important? Reframing our approach to history as deciphering codes hidden in plain sight offers several benefits. Promotes critical thinking, it encourages us to question assumptions, challenge established narratives, and consider multiple interpretations of the past. Empowers diverse voices, it allows us to learn from marginalized groups and gain a more inclusive understanding of historical events. Breaks down silos, 
it encourages collaboration between different disciplines and methodologies, leading to richer and more nuanced interpretations. Makes history relevant, it shows us that the past is not static, but a dynamic and ever-evolving landscape waiting to be explored with new eyes. So, the next time you encounter a historical artifact, document, or event, remember the codes hidden in plain sight. With curiosity, critical thinking, and an open mind, you might just unlock a new perspective on the past, enriching your understanding of the world we live in today. Mind-bending twists The time traveler who, maybe, existed, exploring the possibility of historical meddling. The existence of time travel has captivated our imaginations for centuries, and with it, the possibility of individuals from different eras interacting and influencing the past. While no concrete evidence confirms the existence of time travelers, some historical anomalies or individuals' claims have fueled speculation and ignited debate. Here, we'll delve into the intriguing realm of, maybe, time travelers, exploring the potential consequences of historical meddling and the complexities surrounding such claims. Intriguing Cases The Man in the White Suit, in 1954, a man dressed in an unusual white suit reportedly entered a bar in Cape Town, South Africa. He possessed strange objects, spoke in an unknown language, and exhibited knowledge of future events. He vanished as mysteriously as he appeared, leaving behind an enduring enigma. John Titer, this online persona claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2036, sent back to retrieve a stolen time machine and warn of a future apocalyptic war. His detailed descriptions of future technology and specific historical events sparked widespread debate, though his claims remain unverified. The Voynich Manuscript, this enigmatic book, filled with indecipherable script and illustrations, has baffled scholars for centuries. Some speculate it could be a time traveler's diary, though its true origin and purpose remain shrouded in mystery. Exploring the Consequences Butterfly Effect Altering the past, even seemingly minor events, could have unpredictable and potentially disastrous consequences, creating an altered timeline with unforeseen ramifications. Historical preservation, protecting the integrity of the past ensures we learn from its lessons and avoid repeating mistakes. Unchecked historical meddling could distort our understanding and hinder future progress. Ethical dilemmas, who gets to decide what changes are permissible in the past? How do we navigate the potential power imbalances and ethical implications of altering history? Critical considerations Lack of concrete evidence, the existence of time travelers and their interference in history remains purely in the realm of speculation and unverified claims. Lack of credible evidence makes it crucial to approach such stories with a critical eye. Motivations and biases, if time travel were possible, Individuals' motives for altering history could be diverse, ranging from noble intentions to personal gain. Recognizing and addressing potential biases is crucial. Focus on the present. While pondering the possibilities of time travel can be fascinating, it's important to remember that shaping our present and future lies in our actions today. In conclusion, the idea of time travelers influencing history remains a captivating thought experiment, prompting us to consider the fragility of the past and the potential consequences of altering it. While the lack of concrete evidence keeps such stories in the realm of, maybe, they continue to spark our imaginations and remind us of the importance of understanding the past and shaping a responsible future. As we delve into these captivating narratives, Let's remember the critical lens of historical analysis and ethical considerations to engage in this thought experiment thoughtfully. The alternate history that almost happened, what if, scenarios that rewrite the past. History, as we know it, is a complex tapestry woven from countless decisions, events, and individuals. But what if a single thread had unraveled differently? What if a crucial battle had a different victor, a scientific discovery was delayed, or a key figure made an alternate choice. This is the realm of alternate history, a thought experiment where we explore the ripple effects of hypothetical changes in the past. Here are some captivating, what if, scenarios that rewrite history. What if, the Roman Empire never fell? 
Imagine a world where Roman influence continued to dominate Europe and beyond. Would we have a different political landscape, language, or cultural identity? What if, the printing press hadn't been invented? The spread of knowledge and ideas would have been significantly hampered, potentially delaying scientific advancements and social reforms. What if, the Industrial Revolution hadn't occurred? Without widespread mechanization and urbanization, the world might look vastly different, with slower technological progress and a more agrarian society. What if, World War I never happened? The 20th century could have unfolded dramatically differently, potentially avoiding the rise of totalitarian regimes and shaping international relations in unforeseen ways. What if, the Apollo 11 mission had failed? The space race and humanity's technological ambitions might have taken a significant setback, impacting our current exploration of the cosmos. The beauty of alternate history lies not in providing definitive answers, but in prompting us to question assumptions, consider diverse perspectives, and appreciate the intricate interconnectedness of historical events. These thought experiments allow us to expand our understanding of cause and effect, by exploring different outcomes, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complex factors that shape history. Challenge established narratives, alternate history compels us to question dominant interpretations and consider the voices often marginalized in traditional historical accounts. Boost creativity and critical thinking, imagining different pasts encourages us to think creatively and critically analyze the factors that contribute to historical outcomes. Remember, alternate history is not about rewriting the past as fact, but rather about using it as a tool to gain new insights into the present and explore the possibilities of the future. So, the next time you encounter a historical event, ask yourself, what if? And embark on your own journey of exploring the fascinating realm of alternate realities. The simulation theory, are we living in a history hack, exploring the mind-bending implications of a simulated reality? The notion that our reality might be a sophisticated computer simulation has captivated philosophers and science fiction enthusiasts for centuries. While lacking concrete evidence, the simulation theory ignites debate, pushing us to contemplate the nature of reality, consciousness, and our place in the universe. The Core Premise Simulation theory proposes that all of existence, including ourselves, our memories, and the universe we perceive, could be a complex computer program created by an advanced civilization. Our experiences, from the warmth of the sun to the sting of heartbreak, could be meticulously crafted simulations indistinguishable from real reality. Intriguing questions. Why simulate? Motivations for creating such a simulation range from testing artificial intelligence to preserving memories of a lost civilization. The possibilities are endless, sparking our imaginations and philosophical inquiries. Can we detect the simulation? Some propose glitches in the matrix, deja vu experiences, or the fundamental limitations of physics as potential clues. However, definitive proof remains elusive. What if we are simulated? Does it change our purpose or meaning? Does free will still exist within a predetermined program? These existential questions force us to reevaluate our understanding of self and reality. Beyond science fiction. While some view simulation theory as purely speculative, it holds potential value beyond philosophical musings. Challenging assumptions, it questions our ingrained beliefs about reality, encouraging skepticism and critical thinking. Exploring consciousness. It pushes us to probe the nature of consciousness and its potential independence from a physical substrate. Inspiring innovation, the possibility of creating such simulations ourselves could have profound implications for technology, communication, and understanding the universe. However, it's crucial to remember. Lack of evidence, currently, there's no scientific proof to support simulation theory. It remains a thought experiment, not a demonstrable reality. Potential harms, uncritical acceptance of this theory could lead to nihilism or disengagement from real-world issues. Focus on the present, regardless of whether we live in a simulation, our actions and choices in the present have real consequences. In conclusion, 
The simulation theory, despite its lack of scientific grounding, offers a captivating thought experiment. It challenges our assumptions, expands our understanding of consciousness, and encourages critical thinking. As we explore this mind-bending concept, let's avoid getting lost in the hypothetical and remember the importance of engaging with the real world around us, whether it's a simulation or not. After all, even within a simulated reality, our choices and actions still hold meaning and have the power to shape our experience. The future of history hacks. What surprises lie ahead, looking at potential discoveries and reinterpretations of the past. As we delve deeper into the past, new technologies, methodologies, and perspectives are unlocking hidden secrets and challenging established narratives. Here's a glimpse into what the future of history, hacks, might hold. Technological Advancements Artificial Intelligence AI analyzing vast datasets, AI can identify patterns, translate ancient languages, and reconstruct lost civilizations, offering fresh insights into the past. DNA analysis, by unlocking the secrets of genes, we can trace migration patterns, reconstruct family trees, and even shed light on historical diseases and populations. Remote sensing and archaeological techniques, from LIDAR to ground-penetrating radar, these tools reveal hidden structures, settlements, and artifacts beneath the surface, rewriting our understanding of ancient civilizations. Shifting Perspectives Global history, moving beyond Eurocentric narratives, historians are incorporating diverse voices and experiences, leading to a more inclusive and nuanced understanding of the past. Environmental history, Examining the relationship between humans and the environment offers insights into climate change, resource management, and the impact of societies on their landscapes. Public history, engaging the public in historical research and interpretation through citizen science projects, participatory archives, and digital storytelling fosters a deeper connection with the past. Emerging fields. Digital humanities, Combining computational methods with traditional historical analysis allows for faster processing of vast datasets, uncovering hidden patterns and connections. Experimental archaeology, reconstructing past technologies and living conditions through hands-on experimentation provides deeper understanding of daily life and challenges historical assumptions. Neurohistory, Exploring the link between brain activity and historical thinking can improve our understanding of past societies and decision-making processes. Unforeseen discoveries. Uncovering lost cities or civilizations using advanced technologies. Deciphering ancient languages or texts with previously unknown meanings. Discovering new connections between seemingly disparate historical events. Challenges and considerations. Ethical concerns, balancing historical accuracy with diverse perspectives, protecting cultural heritage, and ensuring responsible use of new technologies are crucial considerations. Access and equity, ensuring everyone has access to historical knowledge and opportunities to participate in its exploration is vital. Combating misinformation, filtering out sensationalized claims and fake news requires critical thinking and responsible communication of historical findings. In conclusion, the future of history holds exciting possibilities with new discoveries, reinterpretations, and a more inclusive understanding of the past. By embracing innovative approaches, diverse perspectives, and responsible practices, we can continue to hack history, unearthing its secrets and reshaping our understanding of the world we live in.